Hey there, in this video we're going to find out how to set up Eloquent models to use UID as primary key in a MySQL database, instead of auto-incrementing integers. I won't go into depth about the pros and cons of UIDs when compared to regular auto-incrementing ID because that's a whole nother topic which usually sparks a global warfare. But yeah, what is UID and why would you want to use this approach? Let's find out. UID stands for Universal Unique Identifier, or sometimes you'll also hear about GUID, which stands for Globally Unique Identifier, a term most often used by Microsoft fanboys. A UID is basically a string of generated characters based on a set of rules. There are many variants and versions, one more complicated than the other, but they ultimately serve the same purpose of uniquely identifying an entity, or in our case, a record in the database. Now, why would you want to use UIDs? Let's take the following example. The app has many restful endpoints that look similar to this one. As you can see, we can start getting users just by iterating the ID in the URL, which can sometimes pose a security risk for some applications. Now, let's see how the same API endpoint would look like with a UID instead of an auto-incremented integer. In this case, we completely remove the chances of iterating the ID in a URL and thus adding a layer of security. Alright, enough with the theory, let's get to the fun part and implement the UID mechanism. Let's start off by generating a new model and a migration. We're going to create a tracks table where we can store our fairy songs. Open up the terminal and let's do php artisan make model track dash dash migration. By default, Laravel migrations include a table ID column in each migration you create. To use UIDs, you must change the ID to UID and specify the ID parameter and set it as a primary. Let's also add other columns just for the flavor. I'll go with title, artist and album. And uh, the album column can be nullable because a song can be a single. Since we are using Laravel, I would assume you'll be using Eloquent to interact with a DB. That's because we're going to make use of Eloquent's model events to create the UIDs. Let's go ahead and create a trait that can be used in any model in which we want to use UIDs. Inside the app folder, create a new trace folder if you don't have one already. Next, create a new file called UID and create a trait with the same name. We're going to create three methods. First one is a protected static function boot, where we can hook into our model and listen for any eloquent events. We'll get back to it in a moment. The second one is a public function get incrementing method, which is used by eloquent to know if the IDs on the table are incrementing or not. We should just return false here. The last one is a public function getKeyType method that just specifies that the IDs on the table should be stored as strings. And here we should return a string with the word string. Now let's get back to the boot method and call the parent colon colon boot. And like I said earlier, we're going to leverage Eloquent's model events to create the UIDs. In this case, we are going to use the creating event which dispatches when a new model is saved for the first time. We check if the model's primary key doesn't have a value, and if it doesn't have a value, we then dynamically set the primary key using the UID method provided by the STR class in Laravel. Now, let's get back to our model and use the trait. Let's also tell our model that we want the table to be named tracks. And we want the title, artist and album columns to be fillable.
Great, now let's run the migration and let's create a new record in our database. Open up the terminal and do php artisan migrate. Now let's use Tinker to create a new record. PHP Artisan Tinker. And let's create a new track object, which we then insert into the DB. I will go with the song The Machine by the Greek band Halocraft. The album is called A Mother to Scare Away the Darkness. Now, let's do save to save the object. All right. Now, let's see if our primary key is indeed a new ID. And it is. Awesome. All right. I hope you're now a bit more familiar with how to use UIDs in a Laravel application. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a video about your advantages and disadvantages of using UIDs, and I'll do my best to provide. If you like this video, stick around this channel because I will post more free resources like this one. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram where I also share web development and other geeky stuff. I was Carol and I'll see you in the next one.